What's up, viewers? It's me, Vax and Jets, playing Ace Combat Zero The Belkin War. In the last mission, we defeated Silver Squadron with their, their zebra-painted F-16s and F-4. And we've also just hit an hour in the game, which is kind of cool. Feels a lot longer than that, though, because of all the menus and stuff. But now it's time for Mission 11. My pulse raced at the astounding accomplishments of the mercenary known as Demon Lord. It's gonna be bad for that dog's I teeth. I forgot about my job and read everything I had on hand. Around the time Demon Lord received his nickname, South Belka showed signs of weariness regarding the war. Because the region was set up as a defense line to protect the birthplace of Belka in the north, the people's dissatisfaction had reached a climax. The cities declared themselves demilitarized and peacefully surrendered to the Allied forces. Unable to establish a defensive position, the Belkin army kept retreating to the north. The end of the war was fast approaching. I was given an opportunity to interview the former aces of the Belkin Air Force. Back then, they were the masters of the sky. And they had also known him. So I crossed the border to follow his trail. I wanted to capture the war and the demon lord from their point of view. To capture the voices of those who were there. Indigo Team Commander. Former member of the Belkin Air Force, 7th Air Division, 51st Tactical Fighter Squadron, Dimitri Heinrich, an ace whose precision and grace in flying earned him the title of Blue Heron. Today he has his hands full with the family business. Well, that day, right before I deployed, my airspace assignment was changed. Initially, my squadron was assigned to the Stable Eastern Front. That was changed to Area B7R, the round table where casualties were recorded at a fearsome pace. It's also the place where I met him. It was just two planes, him and an eagle. And yet our lead force didn't stand a chance against them. I could tell he was good and it was going to be bad for us, but there was something else I noticed. He hesitated, a vulnerability that can be exploited. I was certain I would win. The pilot was still young. He had yet to master the rules of combat. But in the end, I was shot down. Gelb team is number two, former member of the Belkin Air Force. 5th Air Division, 23rd Tactical Fighter Squadron, Rainer Altman. He flew the skies of Directus during the capital's liberation, and he's still there to this day. I met him above this very sky. I can still hear the sound of the missile alerts from that day. I received an order to fly to Directus on my way back from an intercept mission on the southern defense line. The order itself wasn't unusual. We kept being deployed from one mission to the next without receiving even the basic maintenance. But the situation was the same all around. We were late reaching the operational space. The station squadrons had already retreated and warning bells were going off in the city. And the people were looking up to his plane, high above the sky. I, I couldn't see any emotion in his maneuvers. I didn't feel like I was fighting against a human being. I wanted to end that battle as quickly as possible. Silver Team Commander. Former member of the Belkin Air Force, 51st Air Division, 126th Tactical Fighter Squadron, Dietrich Kellerman. He was once the top ace at Belka and a fiery instructor at the Air Force Academy. In 1995, 
the Belgian Air Force sent him to the front lines to bolster troop morale. He was good. From what I'd heard about him, I thought he was still just a young mercenary. But he matured since then. He still wasn't perfect, but I could see he had come a long way towards understanding the rules of combat. What's important on the battlefield is to let go of hate, to survive, and to adhere to the rules you've set for yourself. These are the rules I've taught my students. And when I saw him, I could tell my time was done. A new generation had inherited the sky. There was no more need for an old soldier like me. Every time I flew with him, his skill stood out. He was unstoppable. He was cool-headed and proud. A combat professional. Demon Lord fit him perfectly. Maybe the man was blessed by the goddess of war. Before long, everyone had taken notice of him. More and more would show up to watch him go off on sortie. Mercenaries or maintenance crew, it didn't matter. People wanted to burn his image to their memories. Hell, they weren't the only ones. Operation Cannibal. That sounds very nice. You know, those cutscenes kind of remind me of the ones they had in like the, the like the GameCube and like PS2 Need for Speeds, like Most Wanted and Underground Two. Forces are beginning to take flight. The industrial city of Hoffman is crucial to the enemy's industrial strategy and the heart of its war productions. The Allied forces have decided that all Belgian war production must be stopped to expedite the end of the war, and has requested our participation in this operation. The operation will primarily involve the bombing of ground facilities by the Allied forces' bombers. Your mission is to support those bombers and attack enemy facilities. We have achieved near total air supremacy over the target area, but don't let your guard down. There may still be sporadic resistance. You know, speaking of like Need for Speed Underground 2, that, that'd be a, f a fun game, or I don't know if it'd be fun, I, I've never done a racing game, but I, I'd like to try doing a Let's Play of that one sometime. That was one of my favorite games when I was younger, and uh, although there was a lot of kind of like, really, uh, th there were a few missions, not missions, like races that were kind of like total BS. But that might have been because I tried to beat the game. No, I didn't try to beat the game. I did beat the game with like a 1998 Honda Civic. It had probably like thousands of dollars worth of upgrades on it, but still a Honda Civic. And we're going to do UGBLs because there's a lot of ground targets in Operation, uh, Operation Cannibal or Mission 11. It is very dark. That must mean the bombing started. Cover the Allied bombers. Eliminate all ground and aerial threats. Let's get low to the ground. Oh god, I can't see anything. This is almost as bad as um uh Bastion, that mission. Not the game. That game was very colorful. And this is one of those missions that lets you be a total dick, like you can bomb all those factories like there and probably kill civilians, but I don't feel like doing that in this playthrough. people on the ground go deaf and that was stupid of me. Can't really see where the missiles are coming from. Because there's 
ton of stuff on the radar, like all those oil tanks. APCs, surface air missiles, and another surface air missile. Time to go help him out. Yeah, that is that is excessive. Strike Eagles. I never really use the uh, the F-15 when I play Ace Combat. I don't know why. It's, it's an alright plane. Oh dear. Okay, you can't light yourself on fire. That's stupid. Although, they're going to do something a lot more stupid than the next few missions. Which you'll know if you played Ace Combat 5. But I'll try not to spoil it for, for anyone. But it is like a 10 year old game at this point, so... I'd be pretty surprised if... Oh wait, wait, wait. That, that didn't hit anything, did it? No, it did. No, it missed target. Let's, let's go back. One thing that, like, I think one of the big weaknesses of, of the PS2 games was that you can never really show, like, the, like what's going on on the ground very well, because, like, I think probably most of the, like, the game's resources are being devoted to, like, you know, the planes and stuff, but, I, I mean, I think you could kind of, like, really enhance the whole experience of the game by, like, you know, modeling these cities a whole lot more. So, so let's hope Ace Combat 7 has that. Hell yeah. Oh no. Alright, where is that guy? Good job, Pixie. Something on the ground. Surface air missile. Not gonna feel too bad about blowing one of those up. I think that's the same transport unit that was in uh, Mission 2 Annex. Just kind of chasing these guys all throughout the game. Are those up there? They, they up high? Yes, they are. Make 31s. Oh, the moon does exist. That's nice. Hard to see the planes against the ground. Oh, you won't stop the bombings. Just bail out while you still have the chance. Cool. Anyone else flying around? That's it. it Alright, looks like we got six stealth planes. And it... Okay, which way am I facing? I believe that these are all like F-22s and F... F-35s. Yeah, F-35. Come on.
you know, back when I was in, uh, back when I was in England about a year ago, I, I went to a, to an, um, I think it was like maybe the RAF museum. And anyways, in one of the rooms they had like all, geez, all these like jet planes right next to each other, but like from all eras. So there was like an ME262 next to a Harrier, next to an F-35, and it was pretty cool to see the whole like evolution of those kinds of aircraft. Someone is right on me, aren't they? Oh, jeez. Same. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. That should be... Alright, got one of them. And... Not a kill, huh. Oh god, I'm letting all the friendly bombers die. Although they are kind of being dicks. They kind of had it coming. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh man. I accidentally fire those missiles unguided. Oh great, a stealth plane. This is what I need right now. In, not a stealth plane, an ECM plane. What have we got? A Growler EA-18G. Yep. It's kind of like um, Liberation of Grace Maria with all those all those like I think like E-767s flying above the flying above the harbor. Oh my god. Oh shit, is that a B-2? What are you doing here? Mm, crap. Oh, I'm not gonna evade this. This is the first time I've actually had much trouble in this playthrough. Do something, Pixie. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna have to gun these guys down if I'm not careful. It's also kind of making the game lag a little bit. But this game did come out pretty much, I think maybe same year they released the PS3, so it makes sense that it would be pretty uh, demanding on performance. Although it definitely does look like a PS2 game. Alright, that solves a lot of problems right there. I guess all the bombers are dead because the radio's gone completely silent. Will Pixie and PJ help me out at least? It's kind of bad that I have... Whoops. Oh, cool. Alright, five missiles and three planes. Let's see how, how I can handle this. Alright, three missiles and three planes. One missile and three planes. Alright. All right. These F-35s are very maneuverable. Cool. Guess I've kind of weakened them a little bit already. It doesn't look like there's one right behind me, but that might just be the stealth. Perfect. That was a very fun and happy mission. Pursued by Allied forces, the Belkin forces have taken flight, abandoning Hoffman. Without military production capabilities, Belka is in a bind. We were also able to confiscate samples of what seemed to be experimental weapons from the abandoned war factories before Belka had time to use them. Experimental weapons. Wonder if that's going to be important later in the game. Oh man, just got an A rank. Probably because of how long I took with that, those F-35s at the end. 
new addition to the Assault Records. And in the next mission, I don't really remember what the next mission is, but it's mission 12, which means once we're done with mission 12, we'll be two-thirds of the way through with the game. So, that's cool. And, um, as I always say, like, comment, and subscribe if you, you're enjoying the series, and, and have a, a very nice day.